Hi, I'm Linda with Center for Gifted, and I, today I'm just doing a very quick anti-gravity experiment. So, um, if you could get a wine glass and fill that up with water most of the way, and then a bowl that we're going to use to potentially some water might go into that bowl, and then a scarf or a handkerchief or something where the holes are very small. So for this experiment, we're gonna actually put this over the glass and we need to have the material go tightly over the glass. So um, I would not use silk for this because it is gonna get wet, um, but uh, just some sort of handkerchief or something like that where you can grab the glass around the stem of the glass and maybe since we are using glass have your parents nearby have some adult supervision um, and then have the try to make your scarf kind of go tightly so this is this feels sort of pulled over the mouth of your glass right now okay so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab this by our hand and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do before we do it. So we're going to actually have this go over our, our bowl of water, any bowl of water, is, or a bowl, just a bowl. So you're going to see me do this. And as you can see, very little water went into the bowl. It's all really in my glass. And can you see the water just in the glass? Even though there's tiny holes in my scarf, the water is still staying in my glass. Why is the water staying in the glass? What is causing the water to stay in the glass? Well, as the water became, as the scarf became wet, the holes actually become a little bit smaller. And so as a result, the water is able to bond. The water molecules are able to bond and create a surface tension. So um, this is really a thin membrane of water. So all of the water is now kind of bonded. And if you look at this upside down, I can actually see the water. The water is bonded, the, each, each of the water molecules bonded. And there's just this thin membrane of water that is preventing it from falling into the glass. So um, now if I'm to move this, I might break that surface tension and kind of uh, cause the water to fall into the glass. It's going to be hard for me to get my hand around it. and and not have the scarf sort of I don't know if there's a way to do this yep all the water went in so but you could see there where it was still staying in the glass but as soon as I broke that surface tension all the water went into the glass have fun with this experiment at home enjoy it's a lot of fun it's a great surface tension experiment and thanks for joining me today